Hi everyone, I am back with something a little bit different today. So this is not your standard unboxing. Well, it is an unboxing um, of a subscription box, but it's not one that I've actually done before. Um, so this is a box that I've recently come across on Instagram, started following them and liked the look of the contents and, you know, liked the, the quality of the posts that they were putting out and things. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I put my money where my mouth is this month and I subscribed and this box arrived uh, yesterday, I think it was. I, I don't know what day, what day it is or what time it is or anything at the minute, but um, it read relatively quickly. Um, I think I got an email that it had been dispatched and it arrived within a couple of days of it being dispatched. So yeah, really quick delivery um, and it is, I'm just going to grab it, Witch Casket. So this is a subscription box curated by Witches for Witches. Now I'm not proclaiming to be a witch of any description. However, I have recently started getting into um, all of the, a lot of the spiritual side of things. So, you know, Reiki and healing, crystals, breath work, lots of different things that I've started using kind of in my own journey with my own mental health and my own healing from lots of different things that I've had going on for me in the last few months um, and I liked the look of some of the things that they include in this box that incorporate a lot of the things that I've sort of been starting to introduce into my daily routine. Um, so they send at least eight items within the box um, with what they call casket exclusives which is basically items that you will only find within the box and nowhere else um, and it's vegan friendly um, it's a £50 minimum value in terms of the items that are included and they include things such as spells, crystals, incense, art prints, altar, um, altar wear things so if you have like an altar if you're practicing um, a practicing witch you may have things at your altar um, jewellery and other kind of exclusives included so I'm really really excited to get inside I can smell something already that smells really amazing um, so they have a theme as well every month and I liked the I liked the look of the theme for this month's box as well which I think was one of the another reasons why I sort of thought do you know what? I'm going to subscribe to the box this month so the theme for August 2023 is spiritual growth um, and they include a little booklet here, which just has a bit more information about the box. So it says, hello, our beautiful witch casket family. Here is your August witch casket. And this month is all about spiritual growth. We hope this casket and its contents will raise your consciousness, enable you to feel more spiritually connected, to heal, to grow and to live authentically, which is all of the things that I've been trying to do recently. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with the contents and safety information. We're so excited for the caskets we have planned in the coming months and we're working hard to make them as magical as possible. Um, and then it just goes on to sort of say, you know, let them know if you have any feedback, follow them on social media, all of that. Um, I believe it's a mother and daughter that run it as well, so it's a nice little kind of small family business, which I really like too. And then it goes in to give you a little bit more information about the products inside. So I'm just going to kind of have this off to the side so I can refer to it as we're going through. And then I'm going to grab this first of all, um, because this is on the top. Um, I'm just going to kind of check. So, yeah. Um, so I believe this is an art print called Enchanting Night. You can sort of see that my ring light isn't really um, helping with the light in there um but this has also on the back you may be able to see here um your manifestations for the month and then of course you have a beautiful piece of artwork as well to display once you've written them down so the questions that it asks is what are my goals this month what practical steps can i take to reach these goals and what magical steps can i take to reach these goals and then there's a little quote that says, the seeds are planted, intentions are set, I command my desires be met. So I think you say that after you've written them down to kind of help to manifest them into reality. Um, so it says in here, yeah, enchanting night art print. 
So it says use the reverse of this art print to note down your manifestations for the month and afterwards you have a magical piece of artwork to display in your home or add to your book of shadows. Designed by our in-house designer Faye, our art print this month is a spiritual scene of serenity. And it certainly does depict serenity in that. So there's a little kind of lone house at the bottom there. Just looks like a really kind of peaceful, quiet night, which I think we, we call, could, all, could all use at times. So that's the first item. I'm probably going to be flicking um, the pages in this book because there's a, a few things over different pages. So I want to make sure I'm reading from the right thing. But the next item that's on the top, I'm just going to kind of try and hold it up. But there's a lot in there um, and you can't definitely can't see absolutely everything. Um, so it's definitely packed full. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this another exclusive to Witch Casket. And it's a positive incantations flip book which is a collection of spoken spells to add magic to your daily life. So basically you just flip through um, and you display your daily spell or the incantation. So there's quite a few of them and you can kind of fold it um, fold it down with the little, there's a little crease um, in there which you use to bend to fold it so that you can kind of have it standing up should you wish to. I'll just kind of flip through and show you a few of them. So there's, I surround myself with what I deserve and reject that which does not serve. On the other side, there's, I am powerful, magic and wise. I can manifest what I visualise. There's also, I surround myself with a shield to protect negative energy. This will reflect. Um, and then I have the power to shape my reality as I will it, so mote it be. Um, so there's a lot of other ones in there, of course. Um, for you to go through but that is the next item it doesn't kind of give any sort of value or retail price to these I believe because they're exclusive so they're not necessarily items that are readily available to buy um, but I'm going to grab the next item here which I think is on the next page yeah so this is spiritual growth incense which I believe is the item that I've been able to smell through the box and this is an uplifting blend of lemongrass and rose. And you light the incense and then affirm, I choose not to allow external things to affect my inner world. And it says here um, the same thing. So an uplifting blend of lemongrass and rose. And it really is. It's, it's gorgeous. You can smell it from the box. I don't even need to take it out. But I am going to have a look how many sticks there are in there. So there's quite a few of them, as you can probably see quite a few of the sticks in there oh they just smell so nice the lemongrass definitely comes through that's really really prominent which I love I love the smell of lemongrass so I'm not complaining at all um I'm just having a look so that's just got some um safety information and things on there which of course is important uh but I love incense I have a few kind of incense holders and things like that so I could definitely be using that over the coming months pop that over there what have we got now um so i'm gonna grab this i think which is a mindfulness sand timer so that's in the little box here and i'm just going to open it up if i can there we go so it's wrapped up in tissue as well and here it is so just a little sand timer you probably can't see the sun but it is trickling down there very kind of very slowly um but this basically um helps you to practice mindfulness so you flip the timer over and you practice some form of mindfulness until the sand in the top chamber there runs out essentially so it kind of helps you to just incorporate a little bit more mindfulness into your day there's also some little symbols on the top there it's made of wood um and wooden and glass and it's a black sand inside so it's all very in fitting with the uh with the theme i was just kind of seeing which side has more sand in but it looks like they're pretty even um so i'm just going to wrap that back up just to protect it while i find a place to store it It'll likely be in here somewhere no doubt this is my my bedroom in case you haven't figured that out already um, so that is the next item. So what have we got here? 
So we've got a little bag here that's sealed up and this is a forgiveness charm bag kit uh, which holds everything you need to encourage forgiveness. So it says this magical kit contains a hyssop, I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> lavender, a blue pouch and a mini scroll. So I'm not sure whether to open this yet or not <laughs> or whether to open it once I'm going to use it. I think I can smell something in there too. That might just be the um, the incense kind of, because it was rested on top of it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether. Shall I open this on camera? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. I just didn't want to spoil the, the pretty packaging, but you've got to open it at some point, right? Might as well do it here with you guys. So just kind of inside there. It also tells you which is which, which I really like. Um, so. It all comes in little envelopes and things. So number one, it says is a hyssop. So I'm assuming that's some sort of herb. You probably can't see, um, but you can hear it inside. So it smells um, like some form of herb, as is, of course, the lavender, which is in this one. And then you've got the pouch there, which I'm assuming you mix these two into the pouch, potentially. Um, and it tells you what to do here actually. And there's the little scroll as well. Um, so it says another little art print there as well. Um, sit for a moment and consider who you'd like to forgive, whether it's yourself or someone else. Don't dwell on what they did to you. Just think about how free you will feel once you've processed your feelings and moved on with forgiveness. I can think of a few people right now that I could do with them, do with doing that for. It then says, take the scroll and note down an affirmation such as I forgive or something that resonates with you. Add this to the pouch with the hyssop and the lavender and then tie the pouch closed. You then sit with the pouch and affirm forgiveness. It shall set me free as I will it, so mote it be. And then when you feel the need, sit with the pouch and meditate. Process the emotions and gradually you'll feel able to forgive. Once you feel it no longer serves you, you can return the, the herbs to the earth and give thanks to them for their help. Um, so I really like that idea, actually. And I think it's nice. It's just a nice idea, isn't it? A nice way to to try and process some, some forgiveness. Um, definitely going to give that a try. So I'm just going to pop everything back. I think that scroll must be blank. Um, for you to, to write your own little affirmation on there. So I'm just going to pop everything back into the little bag that it was in. And that is the next item. So the Forgiveness Charm Bag Kit. Can't get it sealed now, of course. I'm ter notoriously terrible at getting everything fastened again. Um, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to grab this because I can see it. So this is... <clears throat> This is an enamel pin and this has a, it looks like a, some sort of moth, I think it is, on there. Um, and it says, as the moth is attracted to light, our magical pin this month reminds us to always seek out the light, even in times of darkness. This opulent pin will add magic to any jacket or bag or enhance any wall display. And it's a really, really pretty design as well. The camera probably doesn't do it much justice. I'm going to hopefully try and get a few nicer pictures to really enhance the, the detail on there. Um, but it's a gorgeous pin. Not really anything. I don't really own anything like this. I don't pretend, tend to really wear pins like um, on, a, on a daily basis. Um, but certainly willing to, to pop this onto a jacket or... Um, as it, as it says, enhance a wall display. I don't really have any wall displays I could put it on, but maybe I could make one. Maybe that's something I could do. Um, but yeah, really nice addition and feels really kind of good quality as well in a, in a pin. So that's the next item on there. What else have we got? There's loads in here. Um, so we have this here, which I believe is a scroll. So there's a little seal on it there. Now, am I going to be able to get this off without ripping it? that is a question um but this says uh, it's a three aids to spiritual growth parchment scroll um so it says spiritual growth is the process of raising your consciousness and feeling more spiritually connected 
identifying who you are, nurturing meaningful relationships and living authentically. This month's parchment is inscribed with three simple ways to encourage spiritual growth. And this information can be copied to your book of spells or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book or you can frame it um, and they can also add splendour to the walls of your home. Now let's see if I can get this off without ripping it. I'm going to bet I probably can't, particularly as my nails may look pretty, but they don't particularly serve any purpose, <laughs> aside from looking pretty, of course. Okay, managed to get it off. So I'm just going to unfurl it. And here is the scroll itself. So I'm not going to read it all to you. Um, but what it says is that the three aids to spiritual growth are meditation, spiritual journaling and connecting with nature. So I already do the meditation and I try to journal as much as I can. And actually, I do try and get into nature as much as possible, too. So hopefully um, I am going to be growing spiritually over the next sort of few months or so um, by doing all of those practices. So that is the scroll and we have a couple of pouches here. So I'm just going to grab the first one. So I think this is a crystal. It is. So it's a little pouch here with a crystal and an information card in it. I'm just going to take them out. So here is the crystal. It's a kind of gorgeous blue colour. Um, I think it's sort of like a, an ocean blue. There's little bits of silver in there, little bits of black and white. And it's a really, really nice crystal. And it's a sodalite crystal or sodalite. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I do apologise. Um, but this says, carry this with you to overcome negative self-talk and encourage rational thought, clarity and communication. Sodalite brings emotional balance, enhances self-acceptance and raises self-esteem. So that's interesting. I am very new to the world of crystals. I used to think that they were sort of just something that looked pretty. <laughs> and I still think that, of course, they are they are very, very pretty to look at. Um, but I am definitely open to the other benefits that they have. Of course, there are lots of people around the world who already use them. Um, and see a lot of benefit from them. So I don't see why I can't be another one of those people. Um, and I'm definitely open to the benefits, particular benefits described from, from this particular crystal. So definitely going to be um, carrying this around with me over the next few months just to see if it does have any impact. But that's the next item. And then the next pouch, this is kind of like a velvet pouch and it's got a little rabbit on it. Um, so I'm just going to open this up and I believe the information is on here yeah so this is a wooden gratitude pebble so here is the pebble itself and there's a little information card here as well so it says use this tactile wooden pebble for gratitude meditation as you hold it sit peacefully and give gratitude for all of your blessings this encourages you to look for the good in your life and raises your vibration to one of positivity and gratitude, which in turn attracts even more blessings. They do say in the law of attraction, don't they? Whatever you are, you attract. What you're putting out there, you get back. And so if you are putting out there gratefulness, positivity and love, etc., that is what you get back in return. Um, so very much looking forward to using this. I do a lot of um, meditation and things. I also have been trying to introduce gratitude journaling into my day. Um, I must admit, I haven't really done it over the last couple of weeks due to other circumstances that I've had going on, but I will try and pick it back up again. And maybe having something like this to remind me might be very helpful. So I think I'm going to keep this somewhere prominent so that I can um, use it as a reminder to try and find things to be grateful for every day. So that is the next item in a little pouch. And we're still going, there's still a couple more. So there's something wrapped up in tissue here, which I'm just going to unwrap here. Oh, wow, okay, that's gorgeous. So this is a metal bookmark with a little tassel on it. And it says, it's engraved and it says, find magic in every chapter. 
which I love. So it says this bewitching bookmark was designed and created just for you to remind you that magic is everywhere for those who seek it out. I love that. I do love reading, but I must admit I haven't really done a lot of it recently. But again, maybe having a beautiful bookmark to use like this will encourage me to do a little bit more reading. There's, there's, I've got books piled up in my in, in another room just across the hall that I haven't read yet. And I keep saying to myself, I need to start that book. I need to start that book. So I think with this, I'm going to start actually reading them and use this to mark my page because it's gorgeous and it's it's metal so it doesn't even like it's it's very good quality it won't bend or break like a lot of the sort of paper or fabric ones do so i'll just wrap this back up again and i think we have one more item yeah which is the shadow work journaling box so this comes with a series of shadow work prompt cards. Um, so it says, consider your responses to the prompts, write your answers on the card, place the card in a box and shut it, symbolizing that this issue is no longer locked in your subconscious. Sit with the box from time to time, mindfully processing and considering what you've written, truly feeling the emotions and trying to work through the issue. Only when you feel you've made progress with whatever issue it is, do you open the box. And when you feel ready, choose another prompt card. This encourages you to process issues that you may have been repressing and start to love the parts of yourself that you've been suppressing and rejecting. We've included a few prompt cards, but you're encouraged to create your own prompts as only you know the issues you've locked away inside that need to be processed. I love that. I love that idea. I've very much over the last sort of year or so been doing a bit of work on sort of the self-love and, and all of that which I think again we could all stand to do um, but here is the box itself so it's modelled to look like a book and then it just kind of opens up there and then there's the prompt cards in here which I just I love this idea I absolutely love it I think it's amazing and I'm definitely going to be doing this um, so it kind of gives you a few prompt cards um, so there's one about forgiveness, one about values, one about things about yourself that you don't accept. Definitely one I think most of us would uh, would be interested in doing. Self-sabotage, suppressed emotions, there's quite a lot in there, it gets quite deep. <laughs> um, so of course this is the kind of thing that you only do when you are ready to do that work. It's, it's work that you can only do when you're in the right headspace for it. Um, but it's here when you want to and it's in such a beautiful kind of storage i love it i think it's gorgeous and it's got like shadow work um engraving on there as well it's just it's beautiful i love it um and of course if you're not ready to do it yet you can just store it away and come back to it when you are so that is everything that's inside the box um, now, in terms of the prices, there's a few different price points depending on where in the world you are based. So if you're based in the UK like I am, it's £29 per month, which I actually think is amazing value when you look at how much is included and that it all fits in with the theme. There's a lot to be working on. There's, And it's not just kind of as much as I love beauty products and you know I love beauty products. All of this stuff is things that you can keep you know that's going to be around for a long time so it's not just you know a moisturizer or a, an eyeshadow that's going to eventually run out uh, all of this stuff or most of this stuff obviously the incense will eventually run out but I can use that very sparingly um, but a lot of this stuff is stuff that's going to be there forever really or as long as you wish to keep them um, if you're part of the EU if you're in the EU um, or an EU country uh, it's £34 per month and the rest of the world um, is £36 per month. So they do ship um, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> um, but of course, those prices include shipping, which is why it's a little bit higher um, for the rest of the world and for the EU, because they have to factor in the, the shipping costs. Um, so the caskets ship between the 14th and the 17th of the month. So I'm unboxing this on the 18th of August and it arrived on the, I believe, the 17th so yesterday um and I got the notification that it had shipped on the 15th I believe it was um 
if you subscribe after the 14th of the month, you'll receive the following month's box and then any onwards until you obviously choose to cancel your subscription. Um, obviously, if you just subscribe before the 14th, which is what I did, I think I subscribed like on Sunday last week. Um, if you subscribe before then, you will receive that month's casket and any following ones until you choose to unsubscribe, should you choose to unsubscribe. I think based on this box, I'm actually going to keep my subscription for next month. I've already seen the theme, um, the theme for September, um, which is all around kind of home. Um, so I'm very much uh, intrigued to see what's going to be inside the box. And I think for £29 and the items that you get, the fact that there's so much to do and a lot of you know, it encourages you to work on um, a lot of areas. I think you can't really go wrong. It's it's something really different from your bog standard beauty boxes. Again, as much as I love a good beauty box and it's what got me started doing all of this. Um, it's something very different and it's something that you don't particularly find just on the subscription box market, really. It's, it's something quite original and, and unique, which is one of the reasons why it caught my eye the way that it did. Um, so I will just very briefly recap on everything and then of course I'll be doing a written review, I'll be doing all the Instagram posts, you you guys know, you guys know the score. Um, so of course look out for all of that and I'll put the link to the website for this box in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. So of course there was that beautiful shadow work journaling box. Now, I have to get everything back in, which if you guys watch regularly, you will know I'm terrible at. So this is going to be interesting because there's lots of packing peanuts in here as well that I have to work around. I'm not just working in an empty box. I have other things <laughs> to work around too. Uh, we had the Gratitude Pebble, the Sodalite Crystal. We have that gorgeous metal bookmark with the tassel. The scroll with the um, three rules for spiritual growth. The moth enamel pin. The mindfulness sand timer. There was the forgiveness charm bag kit. The spiritual growth incense. Here we go, this is where we're struggling. <laughs> the Positive Incantations flip book. And that gorgeous art print with the monthly manifestations on the back. And of course the booklet that in is included that tells you everything about the box. So that's everything inside. Um, again, very impressed with my first experience of Witch Casket. Um, I'll put all of the information below as always and of course look out for my review. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about this box um, or if you are a subscriber let me know what you think of this month's edition uh, or what your favourite item is and I will likely be unboxing this for you guys next month as well so I'm looking forward to sharing next month's box with you all too. For now, I will leave you all to your evenings, mornings, afternoons, wherever you are in the world. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you all again for another unboxing very soon. Bye.